Hey everyone, on this week's Weekly Crop, it's everything Nagwon. And normally what I like to do is have a bit of a chat about the products, but I think that's just gonna get in the way of you because you know Brian Young here knows everything about the products. So I'm gonna step out of the way and let him do his thing. Okay, well, the Nagwon product line is basically, again, affordable lighting product for everyone. That's basically the theme of their, uh, of their lights. And they've been around for a number of years, but um, basically, um, we've only brought in bits and pieces here and there. So mm. it's been a little bit choppy. But now they have a fully flushed out lineup of product and again, affordable product for uh, affordable type projects. And so I'm gonna go through every different light in the lineup and just cool. talk about each one individually and see how it fits in the line. I'll be over here if you need me. All right, okay. So basically I'm gonna start off with first um, this little uh, ring light. So the ring light is, this is called the V29C, Venus ring light with mirror. Um, and again, don't get thrown by that fact that it comes with a mirror. It also comes with this little handy dandy attachment that you can attach your smartphone or smart device in it, into it as well. So I can replace the mirror with that little holder. And what this is, is um, uh, a good uh, entry level ring light, affordable. Uh, it's fully bi-color, so I can adjust it fully bi-color, fully dimmable. Um, we'll also run off of um, Sony L-Series type batteries if you need to run it in the field. Uh, if you wanted to shoot with a larger camera like a DSLR or whatever, then you could just simply put the light on a stand and have it stand in front of the camera and then have your camera on the tripod and shoot through the ring. And the nice thing about a ring light, and that's one of the reasons why we have it set up here with the mirror, is so that people can go up and actually look into the mirror and they can see the ring light or catch light effect in their eyes so they're getting that, that beautiful catch light. Now this light is really a multi-purpose light to have in your kit because you can use it as, uh, again, a ring light to get, the, get those nice, nice catch lights and whatnot. You can use it for a tabletop light for um, shooting product and things like that. So if you were, even you were shooting product to put up on your website or something like that, perfect little light to have. Put your small product on the table in front of it, shoot with your smartphone, and now you can shoot either stills or video to put those clips up on the web. Um, great, great little uh, ring light to have. Or you can use it as a film, light, uh, a, a fill light for other larger kit applications. So if you just want to use it as a fully bi-color fill light, you can put it up on a stand and use it just as a general broad fill and because it has a nice, soft, even light output. So that basically covers the Venus ring light. The next light I want to talk about is the series of Nangwang Luxpad series. So that's these two over on this side, and there is also a smaller portable Lux pad for on-camera purposes as well. So this is called the 116, this is called um, the 58, and this is called the 44. So the thing about the, both the 44 and the 116 on-camera light is their bi-color. So you can actually see that this is a, a more warmer tungsten type uh, light that I'm putting out. Again, fully dimmable soft light. And the way that they're producing that soft light is that they have actually have edge LEDs that go around the edge of the light and the light travels and reflects across this panel so it produces a beautiful, soft, even broad light. Very thin and portable as you can see, easy to pack. I can pack these in like a laptop type style case, pack a couple of them in that laptop case and pull them out for quick and easy use uh, with portable stands. The difference with the V58 is the V58 is a bit brighter because it's daylight only. So every LED around the edge of the light is only a daylight LED. So therefore it has twice the amount of output as the bicolor version in that all of the LEDs are daylight balanced. So uh, uh, done to uh, 5600 Kelvin. And so the 116 portable is a um, bicolor, 44 bicolor, and the 55 is daylight. All of the lights can be powered with Sony L-Series batteries. So the on-camera light with a single battery, and that comes with it as part of the kit. You get a battery and a charger. Uh, the other lights are designed more for studio use, so they come with a, a DC power supply, but they have the ability to be powered with two batteries. And that's the big thing, is you have to have two batteries simultaneously because the amount of power draw of the light requires both batteries to be installed to light up the panel. So again, ideal portable soft lights in a very portable little kit. 
Now, the next slide I'm going to talk about is a mix pad. And the mix pad series sort of takes this pad or tablet style light to the next level. You can see that you're kind of looking at the light here. And I mean, most people, when they first see this, especially on the display like this, they come in and they go, what is this, some kind of Christmas display or something like that? Because it can ha I, I'm producing these various colors. And I can go through all the different colors. But really, what this light is all about is the, light, the colors of light that can be cast. And so we'll do a little bit of demo with that later with, uh, with uh, Dale, and we'll show how it's actually casting the different colors and how you're going to use those to basically replicate colored gels in your production. So colored gel lights, basically. So this light is actually three lights in one. It adds that RGB feature that we've just gone through, as well as it uh, has another function I can go through the, the main function here, um, where it basically replicates a lux pad. So it does the same soft light type of effect of the lux pad series. Again, fully bicolor with edge LEDs. Okay, so exactly the same as the lux pads, but uh, now you also have the RGB capability. And then it also has a third mode where it actually has the um, bulb type LEDs in the rear of the light. And so these bulb types are more focused, creating a narrower beam of harder light so that you can use it as a basically a key light and be able to project the light a little bit further than it would be in the lux pad mode. And so again, here I can dial up and again, fully by color with these bulb type lights. So basically three lights in one, hard, projected far, with a narrower beam, soft, lux pad type light, or the full RGB capability. That's called the mix pad. And there is also a small mix pad as well that's the same side as this, that's called the mix pad 66. So again, you can have that all of that capability in a completely little portable package. So again, with the mix pad RGB lights, any of the mix pad family, including the RGB8 wand light, we can create these color type of lights. And again, when you look at the light panel itself, it may not look the way that you would expect it to appear. As I go through all the different colors of lights, you kind of go, oh, it kind of looks like a Christmas tree. But if you look at the cast on Dale, look at the beautiful, I'm creating different colors of turquoise, blue, into purple, and I can change also the light intensity and really create or fine tune the light into creating the different type of lighting effects that I might want to create with colored gels. So basically, this light is replacing having to take a pack of colored gels with me in the field and I can use it to create creative lighting effects and in various productions. Okay, the next light in the family I wanted to talk about is this other light called the RGB88. The RGB88 is very much like the mix pads in that it's three lights in one. So it has this strip down the middle of colored LEDs. And again, I can go through and change the colors of the full RGB range to produce any type of colored light. As well, I can go in and change into different modes. So I can go in and have this hard rear uh, bulb type mode, which is going to be a harder, more projected light. And I can go into the third mode, which is the lux pad type of light. Now, the unique thing about this is it's basically a wand or sword type of light. So this is beautiful for, going, for doing street photography or light painting, those types of applications. So we sell a lot to photographers and videographers as being a completely portable type of light. It also comes with a bracket on the back, so you can actually stick two of them together if you want to create a long strip light. And you'll see that this is made out of very hard metal, so it's very, very rugged, and as well can be powered by a Sony L-Series battery. So if you are taking it out for street photography or whatever in the field, you can use it uh, totally portable with battery operated. So again, very, very powerful uh, portable wand or handheld type of light. And finally, I'm going to talk about two more uh, Nang long lights. First is uh, something that's been in the lineup for kind of a while is the CN600 SA type of light. It's a daylight only uh, portable one by one style light with a rugged, it's a plastic style ch uh, chassis with a built-in handle, very light and easy to carry in the field. 
ideal for a general type production applications. You can use it for ENG or EFP type applications. It has the LED bulb type that projects out at about a 45 degree beam angle and comes with the diffusion and filter kit uh, come provided with the light. So ideal for field type applications. It also has in the back of the unit a V-mount battery mount. So you can also use your professional V-mount batteries to power this light in the field. So ideal for those types of general purpose production applications. This other light that's up in the rig here is up in the rig for, uh, for basically for a purpose. What we're trying to show people is that this light is ideal for studio type applications. So if you're building a small web production studio or want to have an installed light so that you can just come in and turn the lights on and off and sit down, do your production in a, like a web production booth or a, a presentation production booth, those types of applications, this is a perfect light. It's daylight balanced again, but uses a different type of LED, which is called an SMD DVD, uh, SMD LED, which is a surface mount diode type LED. And what that means is the LED has a broader throw and it produces a softer, wider beam of light. So this is ideal for filling a larger space with softer light like in a studio, small studio application. So putting a couple of these lights up on a grid like this, we can build a studio very quickly and affordably. All of the Nanglong lights that I've talked about are available for under $500 Canadian. So the whole family, everything that I've talked about today. So very affordable choices for affordable style video production.